Hi, I am Frank <laughs> I'm an individual. <coughs> okay. Um, I came here with some ideas. Uh, I didn't have anything that I was specifically going to do. Um, I started out with a uh, Unity application that has space and planets and that type of thing. And uh, one of the young ladies that gave a talk, her name is Sarah Pearson, and it was on uh, planets that may have life on it. And I kind of had like a wow kind of moment. Suppose we could take the data that was being fed and put it into uh, virtual reality models, right? And then I just remember the problem that I had when I was developing it. You didn't see this a second ago, but now you see Earth and you see me having to name all these things and set up these strings. So suppose we had something um, that could do that automatically for us. And since we have about five billion years of doing this <laughs> until our sun uh, goes uh, major nova, right? Uh, we're we're, we're, we're going to be able to run through these models yearly, if not monthly, right? So if you could split this between the virtual reality of all these different uh, areas where you think life might be, and you train uh, a, a, a tool like uh, Clarify to specifically look for uh, points, you could take that uh, with, with a scientist, uh, and as he's going through it and snapping different shots, he could be actually sending that out to a website where children in schools and everybody, anybody around the world could actually see what the scientist is looking at and how the things are being labeled. So that's what I came up with. Um, where's my mouse? Um, so I decided to see if the virtual reality image would work with Clarify, and it does. Uh, how to get to my GitHub page is through the space apps. Um, I put it right there. And uh, it basically opens up, and I have instructions uh, for people how to, how to use it and how to set it up. Um, so I want to give credit to Clarify. They have an API that I was able to use within seconds. The um, encoding was required because I'm not going to be able to send it to a, a website when I'm in a virtual environment, right? So I'm going to have to encode that. Their API works that way, right out of the box. And I just for the sake of people who might want to take a look at this, I, I, I gave you a link to the NPM package. Um, the Angular Universal 4 seed that I'm using, uh, and, and uh, Unity. So I have here uh, some text. This project helps solve a very big problem. The people of Earth in five billion years will have to live on other planets. Uh, we need tools to help us. Um, creativity, it pulls together data models from space, models in virtual reality, uh, artificial intelligence, uh, augment understanding allows people from all over the world uh, to share the knowledge. Uh, the project gives access to knowledge to people uh, from all over the world. Uh, sustainability, the project is looking for members. I did this thing by myself. <laughs> Little humor. Uh, <laughs> and this is Clarify. This is the uh, app. So these are the actual pictures that I took from the virtual reality with the planets. And if my website is working, uh, you'll see the text uh, come up. Uh, I don't know why it's not working, but uh, that's what I have. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, my network went down. Yeah, it's the cool. most terrifying thing in the world is a live tech demo. Oh, it's back up. Um, so I, I guess my quick question is, is the, the goal to, I, to use the VR and the, uh, the AI to discover planets that could potentially support human life? Yes. 
Uh, I think if you take a look at some of the work that people are doing within cities, uh, they have images that doesn't look like a city at all, right? So eventually you're, you're going to be able to get that same type of imagery to coming in. Uh, there's technology that you guys haven't invented yet that's going to be able to capture things and interpret and understand that information uh, and actually create the models for you, right? So you're going to have a VR type solution where you just go out and pull these different things in. So I put in, in here uh, Trappist. Maybe you might want to look at the Trappist model, you know, right now. So you just call for Trappist. All these uh, uh, technologies, uh, there's a synergy, right, between virtual reality, web services, the web. You know, everything is coming together. It's just, you know, I've been doing this a long time, and I still get amazed. So, yeah. Thanks very much. Thanks. You're welcome.